this guided sleep meditation will help you feel connected and less alone as you unwind at the end of the day. You are listening to You Are Not Alone, a guided meditation to help soothe you when experiencing periods of loneliness and depression. But even during these moments of unwanted isolation, beautiful things can happen. We dream alone. And in these dreams, we have a portal to our deepest desires. Our dreams access places in our hearts and minds that seek healing. Your experience of loneliness is unique to you. But you are not alone in feeling this way. And tonight is a chance for you to feel more connected and hopeful before you drift asleep. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Meditation Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and I hope my voice helps you to feel less alone because I am here for you. Together, we will help you get to a better mental state as you honor your needs before bed. Think of me as a trusted ally who comes to you with empathy and compassion. Your feelings are valid. And only you truly know what will be best for you. Allow my voice to guide you and feel free to customize your experience at every step of this journey. As we dial down racing thoughts or chatter in your mind, along with the repetitive thinking that has left you feeling uneasy, you will connect with your inner voice and highest self. Right now, you may reframe all concerns of the past and present with a glimmer of optimism that comes when you say these words. I am safe. I am okay. I am on the path to healing and feeling connected. Let that connection begin with you. You are the most important person in your life. Thank yourself for showing up for you. Showing up is often the hardest part and you are already doing it. Every time you listen to this meditation, you will create new pathways in your brain, taking you out of the ruts that disrupt a harmonious mind. Harmony is the natural state of being. Let this practice remind you And as it leaves you feeling so much better inside, you will find the outside world becomes different in a positive way. Feelings are meant to come and go. But if you find yourself stuck in a whirlpool of feelings that bring you down, you know it is time to readjust. And in stillness, this undesirable whirlpool will lose its power. And while there are many new ways to connect and many actions to take to feel less lonely in your waking life, 
you'll be more open to taking these actions and making new choices when you are rested and feeling better. Every soul on this planet has felt lonely and stuck at some point. There are many connections you have yet to make in this life that will enhance your well-being and help you grow. Your story is still being written. It helps to remember this. Wrap your arms around your chest in a gentle embrace. Whenever you hug yourself, your body receives these strong messages. I love you. I've got you. And you are feeling them right now. Now place one hand on your heart to bring warmth and attention to the special space. Bring the other to your belly to feel the gentle rise and fall of each breath as you connect with your vitality. As you begin to settle into your comfortable sleeping position, Take a few deep breaths and allow yourself to relax. Let go of any worries or tension you may be holding on to and focus on the feeling of your body sinking deeper into your mattress. Open your mouth and yawn. It is the easiest way to let your nerve cells know that you are willing and ready to stand down. Fake it at first if that is easier and then sigh. Let everything go. A yawn and a sigh help your brain to cool down and energy to flow through your body. When you are ready, sip a fresh breath of air slowly through your nose. Imagine the air is aromatized by your favorite scents in nature. The air is the perfect temperature as it travels to your lungs and your body expands. You claim all the space that is rightfully yours and then open your mouth and yawn and sigh. Make a sound if you like. In the most challenging times, your body does its best to keep you safe and bring you to a better state of being. The deep intelligence in your cells supports you through this life. Even when you aren't feeling supported, take note of this now as you inhale once again and then yawn and sigh. Focus on all the things that had to happen for you to be in the same comforting place. For you to show up for yourself. A warm wave of gratitude flows over you and brings you to a state of deeper peace. Once again, 
you continue with this pattern of breathing as a celebration of how you are showing up for yourself. It is the accumulation of little sparkling moments like this where you are intent on finding pleasure and serenity that string together to create a full life of bliss as you inhale, yawn, and sigh. Connection is the healing exchange of energy from one source to another. It can happen between human souls. It can happen between you and a beloved object, memory, animal, or part of nature. The connection goes deep. And right now, you may experience these feelings as you inhale, yawn, and sigh. Even when you are alone, you are a sparkling mosaic of all the love and beautiful moments of connection you have experienced in life. And you may choose to focus on these connections, expressions of love, and times you have felt love for yourself and for things beyond you. You can choose to be the best parts of everything that has inspired you allowing them to shape you as you remember this connectivity shared as an active participant in your life. Take one more deep breath. Using the pattern we have used before or however feels right and then return your breath to normal and notice how much more relaxed you are now than mere moments ago. Imagine yourself on a leisurely walk through a verdant valley in a region known for healing Rolling hills showcase rainbow bands of wildflowers in full bloom. Snow-capped mountain peaks are to the east and a rocky coastline to the west. The colors are more vibrant than you recall them being before. It's as though you have been walking through life with a veil over your eyes, dulling or silencing your connection to your environment. And it now falls away in this technicolor setting. You feel and sense every connection. The sound waves of a soft wind, susurrating leaves, and the songs of birds celebrating another day flow over you with a tingling warmth. You walk along a tree-lined stream of aquamarine water 
that flows over tiny pebbles and stones. Golden sunlight filters through a canopy of dark green leaves and reflects on the water in tiny prisms. A frog swims across the silky surface and hops onto a light gray stone that has been smoothed by time. You dip your fingers into the water and pick up a stone that catches your eye. It is the color of one of your favorite jewels and glistens in your hand. You run your finger over the cool beads of water curious about the journey of this stone. From a jagged and rough piece of rock to something so smooth to the touch. It reminds you how change is always taking place in nature. Nothing stays the same. Even as some phases last longer than others, it makes you realize that with every new thought and experience, you must be changing too. You follow the stream to a clearing where you discover a centuries-old log cabin in a field of velvety emerald grass. The breeze rustles the grass and the tall, broad blades move like the fringe of a shiny green costume worn by a graceful dancer. You remove your shoes to walk barefoot on the feathery blades of dancing grass. The sun pours over you, the sparkling light warming your bare skin and causing you to smile. The temperature is ideal for being outside. You can't remember the last time it felt this good to be outdoors. The grass travels through the spaces between your toes and cushions the soles of your feet. You feel grounded to the earth, rooted in the beauty that surrounds you. You connect with the pleasure of being human. In your own miraculous body that has carried you this far through the timeline of your life. And you thank it for being here. For all the things that go right, for you to feel the softness of this moment, you are grateful to hear the melodious sounds of the stream and the soft breeze of late afternoon. When you focus on the things that are going well, your mood shifts and your sense of well-being elevates. You come to a mulch path that winds around hydrangea bushes with lush lavender blue and bright pink blossoms. 
their perfume lingers as the sun lowers towards the mountain peaks and golden hour begins. You ascend the steps to the cabin and take a moment to enjoy a porch swing overlooking the vista. You settle in the wooden bench and the metal chains clink and squeak in a pleasant way as you rock to and fro. As you take in the panoramic views of sunset, an oriole flies towards the cabin it lands on the rustic, copper-hued railing and sings praises in your direction. With a black head and beady eyes and a silvery-blue beak, its fiery yellow-orange belly stands out, rising with the songbird's soprano whistles. Some believe the tiny feathered being symbolizes friendship, joy, and positive changes on the way. You take a deep breath as you peer into the songbird's tiny black eyes. You feel a deep connection with this bird, and the feeling seems to be reciprocated when it flies to the armrest of the porch swing to take you in. A warm wave of energy travels over your body from head to toe as you listen to the bird continue to sing its song for you. And even though you are alone in a sense, you revel in the solitude and the beauty of being you of being in this magical place, alive and fulfilled, and the recipient of a beautiful melody. You look into each other's eyes one last time before the Oriole takes off and flies to its nest in the forest. As the sun sets, the air becomes cooler and damper, and you look forward to the warm, dry air of the log cabin. You rise from the swing and walk to a creaky screen door that you open into the modest cabin. The interior design is warmer and homier than you expected. Vases of hydrangeas and wildflowers at vibrant colors cast against the shiny sienna brown log walls. You step on a plush cream rug that offers a warm cushion atop the hardwood floors. Tapered candles burn and a fire roars in the stone fireplace. You feel instantly at ease welcomed by familiar smells 
that make you feel at home. You come to a long, narrow entryway table that holds one of the largest journals you have ever seen. You open it to the first page to discover it is a guest book signed by decades of visitors who came before you to escape the input and judgment of society, to connect with their higher selves and nature. The first page displays a quote from the poet May Sarton that reads, Loneliness is the poverty of self. Solitude is the richness of self. For a moment, you ponder this idea and how one can feel alone, whether in solitude or surrounded by people. But the magnificence of finding joy in your own company brings feelings of abundance and richness that transcends so many things you thought might give you this feeling. You turn the thick pages and peruse a diverse array of handwritten passages. Some create deep indentations in the paper while others are delicate, as if softly written with an oriole's feather. Some passages are written in bold, easy to read print, while others are whimsical and loopy and require more concentration. You read about those who have struggled to connect with their peers or community, who felt they were different and not understood. Some write about their struggles finding a place they belong or feeling stuck in a life they no longer want. But as you read more of the passages, you discover each visitor came to the sacred space and reconnected with themselves and the world around them. They emerged from the self-limiting narratives they told themselves often and began to envision a different life. Full of connection. Full of meaning. A life where they felt of service and a vital part of the world around them. As you pour over these vulnerable admissions, you feel a sense of connection with these people. And while some of these experiences occurred during different times in history, perhaps even before you were born, the universal feelings and individual stories resonate with much of what you have felt yourself. You realize that you are not alone in your struggles and that there are others who understand what you are going through You close your eyes 
as the cabin becomes dark and the warm flames of the fire cast the room in honeyed light. The crackling and popping sounds of the fire fill the air as sparks shoot up the chimney. A soft smile forms on your lips and you allow this feeling of connection to radiate through your body in warm, persistent waves. You allow yourself to feel less alone and full of hope knowing that it is possible to grow out of the season in life. It is possible to harvest the kind of connections and relationships you long for and on the deepest level connected with your highest self. You know without a doubt that you deserve to have meaningful bonds and you are worthy of love. You open your eyes and sigh in tune with the comforts of the cabin. You feel tension releasing from your muscles and joints. You feel a lightness in the center of your chest and a warm flow of energy around your heart. You inhale and exhale. Your lungs feel light and free, as if you spent the afternoon laughing without a care. A wave of tiredness comes over you with a calling for rest. This kind of profound relaxation and sleepiness comes when your guard is lowered. It takes hold when you are in a safe place and your nervous system stands down. Sleepiness is the ultimate complement to your progress in healing and making amends with a part of you that has struggled. As you accept that you are doing your best and you are doing it well. You walk from the main room to a cozy bedroom illuminated by thin strands of angel hair lights that weave around an exposed wooden beam in the ceiling and the rustic logs of a canopy bed. The king-sized bed is so inviting. A fire burns in a wood stove and light and shadows dance on the walls. Your attention turns to an artistic patchwork quilt on the bed 
takes you on a journey through the timeline of your life. It contains fabrics in colors and patterns that remind you of times you have felt the most connected and full of joy. These connections were spawned by activities you enjoyed, by dreams you had, by people you loved and by encounters with the world that taught you about who you are and what you enjoy most. You run your hand across the textured fabric and it seems as though a halo of golden light hovers above it. You pull back the thick quilt and cotton top sheet and climb atop the semi-firm mattress. You feel as the mattress supports you as you settle in the heart of the bed. The four log posters of the bed frame remind you of tree trunks. You visualize the trees in the forest and imagine like them there are roots in your body reaching into the earth connecting you to its timeless offering of strength and stability. You feel part of something bigger than yourself. While at the same time, feeling small and coddled in the comforts of the bed. These feelings bring a resonating sense of balance and peace. Your head sinks into the pillows and the quilt covers you like a weighted blanket, sealing you in for a night of soothing dreams. As you settle, you feel the energy of life coursing through your body in a web of interconnectedness that reaches out into the limitless world. You drift into the sacred space between wakefulness and sleep and appreciate the beauty of this connection and how it brings you a sense of peace and belonging You feel supported by the bed, by the safe respite of this moment, and by the world around you. And in this intoxicating, loving state of being, you can see a future version of yourself surrounded by a supportive community. You 
feel the warm embraces of people who love you and understand you. You experience the resounding certainty that you are worthy of feeling each and every loving, supportive connection. You remember that you are the writer of the script of your life. You are the director and you are empowered to cast and recast the characters that are part of your unique story. You give in to the persistent, gentle tug of sleep, knowing your dreams will be colored by themes of love and connection, that they will play out hopefully, offering deep compassion and appreciation for you and all you are doing to grow and heal. And when you awaken to a new and unwritten day, you'll take your first breaths of the morning and remember the feelings of connection you allowed into this practice. They will spill over into the choices you make throughout the day. But for now, you trust these warm feelings that guide you across the bridge to your sleeping life as you remember that you are not alone. Finding bliss, finding peace, finding repose, finding sleep. It's time to dream away. <laughs>